Hey kids, we're going to be creating Lego pieces. Here's the thing. I'm a little bit annoyed by this because I was so close to finishing my Lego piece and then my time ran out. I'm only allowed to make my videos 10 minutes long before the video cuts out. So now I've got to do it again, even though it's almost done. Whatever, let's get started. So the thing about Legos is they're very precise. And so we need to make sure that we are doing this in millimeters instead of centimeters. So let's go ahead and start a new sketch here. Goodbye, old Lego piece. Um, and we're going to make this millimeters. So click here on the drop down and change that to millimeters. Okay. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Got to go in a hurry so it doesn't cut out on me again. So the main part of the Lego is the uh, rectangular prism. Okay. And uh, it looks like this rectangle goes to the right down here, 31.8. And then it goes up in the other dimension. Oh boy, it's complicated. You actually have to use your calculator, I think. So right here is 3.9, then 8, then 3.9. So 15.8. So, so on this dimension, it's 15.8. In this dimension, it's 31.8. So let's create a sketch. We'll make it a rectangle. I'll do 15.8. 31.8. Cool. Finish the sketch. So now we must extrude this. And it looks like, if you look right here, it says it is 9.6 millimeters high. So let's extrude this. 9.6. There you go. We've got our basic uh, Lego shape. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the eight circles on top. So I'll do create sketch. Now, what you'll be tempted to do is to just draw circles that look kind of close to what they're supposed to be. Don't do that. Make them precise. You know, the Legos, they, they, they need to be really precise to fit together, like to the exact like hundredth of a millimeter, okay? Uh, so we need to figure out exactly where it is. And if you look here in the sketch, it actually tells you that the center point of this is 3.9 millimeters to the right and 3.9 millimeters down. So what we're gonna do is I'll use the construction tool to mark off that center point at 3.9 down and 3.9 to the right. And then I'll create my circle. And what's the diameter of this circle? It tells you that right here, it's five millimeters. You can see that that's kind of outlining the circle so that you can tell that's the one that's five millimeters. So I'll make this five millimeters and be done. Now at this point, many of y'all are going to want to just do that seven more times. Don't do that. That's what newbies do. Y'all are gonna be professional, okay? There's actually a button in here that allows you to copy the shape in like a pattern. And that's down here under create. It's called rectangular pattern. So it allows you to copy shapes to the right and to, to the left and up and down and stuff like that. So click that and then click your circle. And then I'm gonna drag my arrow. And I have to think, what length is this going to be on? So I'm going to go to the right eight, eight again, and then eight again. I'm, say, I'm saying that because of this. That's 24, 24 millimeters. So, have four of them. I'm going to go 24 millimeters. There you go. Except, oh shoot, I didn't mean to finish it. Okay. Um, except I also want to copy it downwards. So I believe that is uh, well, that's just going to have two shapes, uh, and it's going to be eight millimeters in total. So now I'm going to extrude each of these shapes. And I believe we are extruding them 1.7 millimeters. And hey, this is beginning to look like a Lego. Uh, so the next thing you got to do is you got to hollow out the bottom. So uh, instead of uh, doing like a whole sketch thing, there's actually a really good feature for this called Shell. It's over here by Modify. 
So if you click shell, and then you click the area you want to shell, let's say I want this to be one millimeter thick in every dimension, it, it'll do that, which is pretty cool. So if you look on our uh, dimensions, it actually tells you right here that it wants the shell to be 1.49. So this thing needs to be 1.49. So let's go back, type 1.49, enter. We're almost done. We're almost done. All I got to do is these circles here in the middle. Oops. So to do this, we need to figure out where exactly this circle is from the edge here. So where is that center point? Okay. Now, I believe it is, hmm. okay, so from here to here, it's going to be four. I'm saying that because down here it's eight, so it's going to cut that in half. So four millimeters um, plus from here. Oh, I see. So from here to here, it's 3.9. But then if you subtract the shell. Okay, guys, I'm starting to go over your head. Uh, let me just get started. So let's create a little instruction. So what I was realizing while I was thinking out loud here is this from here to here is going to be 3.9, but minus the shell, that's 3.9 minus 1.49. I got that that is 2.41. So then that 2.41 plus 4, because half of this is 4. So that's going to be 6.41. So in each side, from to the right and below is going to be 6.41 in each dimension. So 6.41, 6.41. And that should be right in the center of our Lego. Now I'm going to create my circles. So it tells you over here that the inside circle is 6. Point, sorry, the outside one is 6.31 and the inside one is 5. Okay, you can see that right here that this is 6.31. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw those circles. So 6.31. Five. And now we're going to copy that to the right using our rectangular pattern button from earlier. So let's see, let's see. So if from here to here is eight, that would mean that from here to here is eight, and from here to here is 16. So the total length that we are doing this pattern over is 16 millimeters. Nice. So we'll extrude them. And how much do we extrude them? It looks like this 9.6, but minus the shell. So 9.6 minus 1.49 is 8.11. Listen, if you want, you don't actually have to do that on a calculator. You can just type it out. 9.6 minus 1.49. And it does it for you. So that's cool. Now you have your finished Lego piece. However, I think we should make it a little bit more, you know, Lego-y, like not gray. Okay. So what, uh, what I want you to do... Oops, Oh no. Ah! No, what am I doing? Ah! Oh no. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do is let's select this thing and change the appearance of it. And let's make it. Uh, so, I'm under the powder coats. Why don't we make it yellow? that work? What red? What's going on, guys? What if I tried something else? Okay, so that worked. Why isn't yellow working? 
you know you guys i'll let you all